Hey guys, this is Margot B from Boardwalk Empire here at Bossip.com in New York City. You can check me out at MargotB.com, M-E-R-G-O-T-B.com. The new team that I shot with Boardwalk was definitely the hardest thing this season, or one of them. Had a lot of challenges that they kept bringing me up to, but I was really honest with them from the beginning, right when I was cast, what I felt comfortable with. I'm very proud of it. We worked really hard and it was very tastefully done. When I first got into Boardwalk, I was really intimidated. This is definitely the biggest acting gig that I got thus far. Singing, when I, when I had to sing on the show, I was really a lot more comfortable because I could walk in and just kind of do what I do all the time. And it was just like another gig for me. But the first day I remember walking on set with, and it was the entrance scene when I first walk into the Onyx Club. And it was, you know, Jeffrey was by my side and I had a couple bodyguards with me and Michael Kay was standing there and Eric Lurie Harvey was standing on the corner. And it was just so crazy because the focus had to be strictly on me and, and these iconic actors are standing right in front of me and I was trying not to lose my head, but then I just had to focus and just kind of lose sight of being intimidated and, and really overly excited about this whole thing. <laughs> My audition for Boardwalk was, it was a simple song, um, it was a standard, the St. Louis Blues that I sing later on in the, in the series with the flower and the headpiece dress where the spotlight kind of goes on me. That was actually my audition song. Tomorrow, like I feel today. A light scene, it was like a couple lines because my role was supposed to be a couple episodes, maybe at tops. So everything else was really written in later on in the series casting had a problem with my accent because they said that it wasn't hard enough, it wasn't strong enough. But I knew that it was a singing role, so I, I didn't really focus on that the first time that I went in. But then the, the next time I went in, I had met with a dialect coach and kind of worked on some of my stuff and listened to uh, dialect CDs and accent CDs. We worked on it, and then I guess they just liked what I was doing with it, so they kept writing. You make me complete. The guy that was my love interest in the video was not white. He was Nigerian. He's just very light skinned. And I, I did that on purpose, uh, not only because he's my boy and he's just a very close friend of mine, amazingly attractive model. I knew that that was gonna be an issue and that people were gonna talk about it no matter what. I have a mixed background. I have a mixed cultural ethnicity background. And uh, I wanted people to be confused because I wanted us to be so ethnically ambiguous that you didn't know what was coming together. And I didn't want the color to be the focus. So I wanted two, two Blendivas and Blendivos to be in, in the realm of the video so that you can, kind of, uh, you can kind of lose sight of the color thing. It's not about that, it's a, it was just about love. 